can see my fridge is absolutely despicable disgusting that is supposed to store my food not look like the bottom of my trash can because right now it does it stinks it smells I'm pretty sure there's rotting food in there but we are done with that as of today no more I can't take it every time I open up the fridge it stinks up the whole house that should not be happening no I'm just being real I'm just being real you guys might be like that's disgusting Alexis it is it is you're not you're not lying it is so that's why today we are elevating our lives to the next level we are going all out all in i want a fridge like chloe kardashian <laughs> everybody knows that she is the organizational queen and when i watch the kardashians and i see their fridge looking nice and pretty and then mine looks like this i have to go to therapy because i just get really really upset at myself no more today's the day that we are going to take it to the next level i am going to create the fridge that i've always wanted you guys might be like that about this fridge like no one even sees it i see it that's what matters you see your fridge okay so if your fridge looks anything like that it might be time to question whether or not you need to do this too when i open my fridge i want to feel like i am in a candy store like i have options okay it is 2020 we have options no we don't because of coronavirus well, you guys get what I'm saying. I, I hope you do. We're gonna do this for ourselves, okay? Because no one can come over. It still, it still matters. So do it for you at the end of the day because that's what I'm doing. If you guys have not seen my kitchen makeover video, make sure you go ahead and click up here, watch that. I did the entire kitchen, organized everything outside. This is gonna be just the fridge portion. If you guys are loving my apartment series so far, please let me know. Give this video a fat thumbs up. That helps me out so much. It actually lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my videos. So it spits it out to the rest of the world. So definitely give it a thumbs up if you can. And don't forget to subscribe. We are almost at 35,000 subscribers, which is <laughs> and crazy. You guys know I'm trying to reach 50K. That is my goal. I mean, we want to go higher than that. We want to take over the world, but we'll start there. Let's get to 50K. Let's take our life seriously. Let's become adults. Let's become grown women who organize their fridge that's us that's me that's you let's go so we are going to become true artists right now and we're going to design the fridge kind of get an aesthetic of what i'm actually looking for in my fridge because you can just like go ham and like you know buy things you don't need we're not trying to do all that today we are trying to be efficient grown women and plan everything out before we do it so first things first we have to go on the beloved pinterest because pinterest is is just where it's at that's where all the moms post their best ideas so we got to go there of course i mean there's nothing really catching my eye at the moment i will say that pinterest was a complete fail i really didn't find anything that was like i gotta do my fridge like that i just pulled some inspiration from a few things but i think i got a general idea of how i want to do my fridge i just want it to be very organized and everything have a plate okay so here is pinterest and this is like the closest thing i would get like i want to do like drinks up top all my fruits and kind of in a container chopped up ready to eat i just find myself wanting to eat them more and then everything kind of just have a place instead of the mess that it's in right now so i'm gonna sketch it out and see what i come up with do, 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 do. all right my masterpiece is done so what i decided to do at the top of my fridge i'm going to be doing chopped veggies that are ready to go chopped for the week um, i'm gonna do my drink section over here and then my chopped ready to go salad and then i'm gonna do my cans of drinks that I'll have on display and then my unchoppable fruit and veggies so like oranges apples things like that and then my neat meats at the bottom of the fridge so nothing leaks into them so this is the plan this is what we're gonna do let's get started okay so now I want to show you guys all the things that I already have for my fridge because we're gonna have to go shopping I already know it I don't have everything that I need but I want to show you guys what I have and then we're gonna clean out my fridge and go on from there so the first thing I have, which I got from Home Goods, which is an egg organizer. And I just think these things make your fridge look so cute. $4.99 to be exact. Okay, so then I make a lot of my own homemade juices. So I use these for like the little ginger shots. Ooh, that's actually cute. So I have like three or four of these. Okay, and then I have, actually I have two of these for my like canned drinks or whatever I want to use them for. So I have two of those. Then I have... This one for my chopped veggies that I could use. I 
like that. And then I have also this one for chopped veggies and fruits. So that's all I have for the actual fridge organization. As you guys can see, that is just not gonna cut it. I'm gonna have to make a little run to Home Goods today and see what I can find. So now let's go do the dreaded task of actually cleaning out that disgusting mess that is in there because I just, let's go. If you're watching this from the future and you're just like, this girl really needs to get it together. I agree. Okay, so oh, I'm just being the realest I can be right now. I'm not even gonna try to hide how sick this actually is. I just wanna do a quick disclaimer. I know this might look very wasteful. There's just things in my fridge that didn't, like I buy really, really organic fresh fruit and if I didn't eat it in time, it went bad. Fogging, molding in the bag and I have to throw it away. Um, I try to not over shop, but sometimes if I just didn't get to it in time, there's some sitting in there. So I grew up not being wasteful. So um, this, this is just a disclaimer. I understand the importance of eating all your food and not wasting it, but I can't eat, I can't eat moldy food. So I'm just gonna get rid of it now and it won't happen again. Okay, so molded raspberries and blueberries. That, okay. I got out all of the sick stuff out of my fridge. That was disgusting on me. Okay, so now that I cleaned out my disgusting fridge, everything that's left in there, I'm going to use to organize with. That's good food, I'm not gonna throw that away. I just need to go to the store, we're gonna stop at Home Goods, get a few more organizational bins that we could find, and then I need to stop and get more of like veggies. I need some berries, carrots, celery, little snacky things that I like. Um, I need some snacks for my actual pantry too, so we're gonna stop at Trader Joe's and maybe Whole Foods to get that. Maybe some fresh meat, we'll see. We're gonna go to Home Goods, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. So now that the disgusting part is over with, let's go get ready to go. So I am changed for the day, ready to go. She is ready. Um, I wanna show you guys what I got because I wanna start showing you guys more of the fashion in my videos because why not? You know, I'm turning into the woman that I am and I just wanna share, I wanna share. I got this shirt from Aritzia, it is so cute. It's kind of like this mesh material and it kind of has like a little rouge on the side here. It kind of scrunches up and I just think it's so cute. You can literally dress this down, dress it up, whatever you wanna do. And then I'm just wearing these shorts that I got from Revolve. But now I'm gonna pick out my jewelry and I wanted to show you guys this new jewelry that I got that is just unreal. I just want to first thank Orate for sponsoring this video. This jewelry company, you guys, it is not just any jewelry company. I literally love every detail about this company in and now, not just because their jewelry is so beautiful, such high quality, and for such good prices, but they also really, really care about the world, the community, and making women feel beautiful. And you guys know I am all of about that I am here to support so let me show you guys what they sent me it is gorgeous let me just warn you right now this is beautiful I am so excited to wear this first they come in this beautiful box I love this color but I got this beautiful ring I literally am obsessed with it it is so dainty so beautiful and so easy to stack they have so many rings that you can pair together mix and match stack make a whole like set just for you so I got this this ring which is so so gorgeous look how dainty and beautiful that is look at its shine I love their gold jewelry and that's what I was on the hunt for really finding good quality gold pieces gold rings that I can wear in my hands every single day and not have to worry now let me show you these I can't even I can't even with this I can't I can't it's so cute oh it's everything Look at this. It is so cute. It's everything. I literally am obsessed. Look at that shine. Uh, look at the stack. Just look at the stack. Look at the stack. This will be on my hand every day. I'm not joking around. I cannot. So if you've never heard of Ore, Ore is a fine jewelry company made in New York by women for women. Yes, let me say it again. By women for women, which you know I'm all about and I love and I fully support. Literally, they have anything you are looking for if you want to go classic if you need a statement piece to their very own original jewelry pieces that you can't find anywhere else at affordable prices literally at affordable prices or it was made by two friends that made beautiful jewelry pieces offering modern women beautiful beautiful designs high quality jewelry at affordable prices like 
the reason why or it has such high quality jewelry but at such affordable prices is because they don't have a middleman to mark up these prices you're literally getting these same traditional fifth avenue brands but for fraction of the cost ore literally has solid gold pieces that you can wear in the pool in the ocean just out and about in your everyday life so ore's gold is a hundred percent goop proof so you can lather on your lotions lather on your sunscreens and not have to worry at all if it's going to ruin your jewelry also if you order their pearls which you should they're beautiful they're ethically sourced which is something that is so important to me if you want to get in the water even if you have some of the pearls on you don't have to worry they're literally born to be in the water so another thing that just touched my heart when learning about ore is the fact that they love the community and want to help women feel empowered just by wearing beautiful jewelry pieces you're not only just wearing beautiful jewelry pieces for every jewelry piece that is sold on ore you are helping a child further their education which is so beautiful in itself so you know when you put this jewelry on it's also not just a piece of jewelry it means something to somebody else it is helping somebody else which is something you guys know I stand by a hundred percent I love it so you're not only gonna feel beautiful look beautiful have high quality jewelry on for the best price possible but you're also going to be helping somebody else I truly truly love this company you guys I'm so excited I love their pieces they have so many options options you can choose from but it's still so trendy I've already been stopped so many times and asked where I got my rings from and I'm so happy to share and tell them all about it it's not only such a good company but the pieces are truly truly high quality this is lifelong jewelry you don't have to worry you can go swimming you can do your dishes you can take a shower you can do whatever you want and not have to worry or think twice about oh let me take my rings off and then potentially lose them this is for life jewelry everyday jewelry which is exactly what I was looking for so I'm so happy to finally be sharing this with you guys because I've been wanting to. I've had these rings for about a week and a half and I have just been wearing them non-stop. I've got compliment after compliment, but I also have tested it myself. I've worn them in the shower, I've gone to the swimming pool, I've put on my lotions, I've put on my sunscreen, and this is how beautiful these rings are. This is how beautiful they are. They look untouched, unbothered, and ready to snap. Like they are the most beautiful things ever and I don't have to worry about my jewelry tarnishing. I can't stand when I have to worry about that. It is so annoying. I just wanna be able to put on my jewelry and not think twice about it. And with a rate, you can literally do that. So of course, I have a discount for you guys. I have a code for you. I definitely, if you are on the hunt and you have been looking to find really, really good quality jewelry, this is it. You guys can get 15% off your first purchase with a rate. All you have to do is go to orenewyork.com slash alexis let me spell that for you a u r a t e new york.com slash alexis a l e x i s go there i will also have it linked in the bio for you easy for you just to click and go ahead and apply the code alexis and you will get 15 percent off your first purchase if you guys go get anything let me know show me the pieces you get i literally love this brand the link will be in the bio look at these beautiful pieces i'm definitely gonna be getting more I'm just, <laughs> you know thank you so much or for sponsoring this video I love them we are here back at it again on our way to shop till we drop I need to think about all the things that I need because I forgot my list at home who does that? at the traffic lights turn right onto West University Drive oh I need to turn she's telling me I need to turn so I need to turn I almost missed that What'd Maya, you get? turn left towards I 10 and US 60 thanks Siri thanks but we are on our way to home goods i just need to get a few things hopefully i can just find it get it got it good go go home go to the grocery store so we can get this fridge looking the way it needs to It was so packed in there like and everyone wanted to be in the same section that I was in like they literally were all looking for the same things so I tried to hurry up and get in get out I got most of the things that I needed I wish they were more aesthetically pleasing than I that I would like but I wanted to shop at home goods because I was not about to go spend that container store money not today on a different day maybe but not today now I got done with home goods we are headed to the grocery store to get a few items and then we're gonna go home and it's time to organize <sighs> done shopping now it is time to head back home 
It is so hot in Arizona, you guys. I am burning up. Okay, I'm back home and now it's time to get decorating, yeah. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what I got at Home Goods. It was kind of hard to shop. They didn't really have anything like that I was like, oh, I really want this, I need this. It's kind of all over the place. That's kind of what you get at Home Goods, though. So I don't know what I was expecting. It wasn't the container store, but I did find some stuff. So the first thing I got was this big tin. I might use this for salads or to store um, chopped up veggies or chopped up fruit or all my berries. We'll see exactly what we end up using this for. So I got this kind of bin. And then I got two more small ones like that that I want to use. Same thing for chopped up veggies just to store them. I find when my vegetables are ready to go, I will eat them. I don't, cause I don't like chopping. So if I just do it once when I get it, clean them, chop them, put them away, they're ready to go. I find that I use them a lot more and actually consume them during that week. Then I finally found my spaghetti holders. They had them at this home goods. So I found some, so I went to put my pasta in there. Then I finally found like an onion holder. We all know what a fridge smells like when there's an open onion in it. Okay, and then I got, I scratched this. Every time I think about scratching it, it does it again to my mouth. My whole jaw just, mm, I don't know what, how, why does that do that? Like if you scratch a, a chalkboard, here you hear a sound or a feeling and it like makes you clench your jaw, that, that's just what happened. That was weird. Okay, we're gonna move on. I got three of those, and then I got two of these. I don't really know why, but we'll see what we end up using them for. And then I got a tomato holder, and then I got a like a garlic dicer, and then it stores your garlic for you, already diced. I'm looking for convenience, I mean, what else am I looking for? So that is everything that I got at Home Goods. Now I will show you guys the little groceries that I got, the extra extras. Okay, now for the little grocery haul. So first things first, I got some LaCroix. I've always wanted to try this. I'm really getting into sparkling water. Trader Joe's has really, really good sparkling water. I try to get very, very natural sparkling water, no sugar. So I am trying this. This one does have a sweetener in it, but it's low calorie, low sodium, and it's passion fruit flavor. So I'm gonna try these. I've never had them before. So hopefully I didn't just waste my money and buy that. Everyone else says they're good, so I got them. Just shows I'm a follower clearly. All right, got some large eggs. Then I got a lot of snacks to hook up that snack drawer. So I got some uh, so macro bars. Then I just have a whole bunch of loose veggies. So I got some organic green bell peppers. I love the green ones. Some people hate the green ones, and I'm like, that is literally the best one. That is the best one. Then I got some celery, um, and then I got some kale, organic kale. I got a whole bunch of new berries and I'm gonna eat them, don't worry. And then I got some baby carrots. I got tomatoes because I don't have any. Then I got, I used to drink these all the time. This is a mineral, sparkling mineral water. It just restores your body and gives you minerals. So I got two of these. I'm gonna start drinking these again. For sparkling water, I used to not like it and this is what turned me on to sparkling water because for some reason, I could drink these and these are so, so good. So I got the sparkling water, more sparkling water. And then for the snack drawer, I got some air popped popcorn. It's literally no GMO, gluten free, dairy free, peanut free, tree nut free, preservative free, no artificial flavors, zero trans fat, a good source of fiber and delicious. The ingredients is literally popcorn, sunflower, sunflower oil, and salt. And then I got some crunchy chickpeas. I used to get these all the time. This is the barbecue flavor. Okay, so for the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this bad boy out. I'm literally going to take everything out and just kind of start over with the organization, right? The fridge is completely empty and disgusting, so I need to clean this out because this is embarrassing. I just can't believe this is my fridge. And then we're gonna start organizing, which I'm excited about. Let's go. So the first thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually design the fridge, put the bins in there like where I want them to be, and then go ahead and start filling everything. That way I could see how exactly I want the fridge to look and then start filling up the bins. I could put tall drinks right here because this glass slides back, which 
which is really, really cool. All right, let's try this design. Let's see what we got. Okay, perfect. And then I can just pull out my salads here. My drinks are gonna have to go there. Okay, so I know it looks crazy right now, but I think I like it. So what I'm gonna do is have all of my drinks go up here, canned drinks and my bottles and stuff like that go in here. And then I'm gonna have my salads go right here, my eggs, my berries, and then my chopped vegetables that are ready to go in there. Then I'm gonna have like my fruits that can't be chopped, my veggies that, that shouldn't be chopped, and then all of my meats here at the bottom, like fresh meats that I have that are waiting to be cooked can go there. And then I'm gonna put um, like all my stuff that I've used, so like my lemon, my onion, my butter, all right there. So let's try this, let's see what we can do, and we'll rearrange if needed. Looking so good, looking so good. Here is a little update on my fridge, you guys. It is really coming together. It is looking so good. Like this could be on Pinterest, okay? <laughs> Okay, so I'm almost done. It is looking so, so good. Like, I don't know who I've become today, but I wanna be realistic. I love leftovers, I eat leftovers, and I definitely need a space for leftovers. Like, this is cute, but I know that I'm gonna have a leftovers one day. So I'm definitely thinking about, of all this space in the back of this section, so it's gonna go behind here, but also I have this extra bin that I could use. Okay, so like I have all these leftovers, so they'll just go in here. And normally, guys, I don't use plastic, but um, I, we had like a little birthday party for my sister, so this is kind of like all the leftover food that everybody brought. So um, I just have it in my fridge. And I just put it like right there. That way it's like ugly bags, but it's in a cute container so it's not as ugly. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? No? Maybe. You guys, I'm just standing here, I'm admiring this beautiful kitchen that I am looking at. Like, what is going on? I don't know who I've become. I truly, truly have elevated to the next level in life. Like, this is my way of life. I've always wanted to be this woman, and now I am. <sighs> the time is time to show you guys after my hard work all day long, cutting, chopping, shopping, you know, all of the above. My beautiful fridge that I always dreamed of. It turned out perfect. I literally am so happy. Okay, you guys are probably like, be quiet. Can you just show us? Okay, I will. First, I will show you guys the little, I had this in my kitchen makeover. If you guys have not watched that, I will have a link down below. Make sure you guys go ahead and do. I didn't finish like my snack section because I didn't have any snacks, but that's what that looks like. And then I put the, the pasta holder. Um, I put them right here. So, and then a little drinks in there. Now it's time to show you the fridge. Oh, M G, she is glowing. She is so cute. Can she stop? Can she stop? Let me just do a let me do a little cinematic shot for y'all because it, it's necessary in this moment. Mm. 
wow is all I can say. Now let me walk you through this beauty that is standing in front of me. So right here, someone always said, put some baking soda in your fridge. It kind of makes the refrigerator smell good and stop it from smelling bad because of the food. Then I have my two turmeric shots. These glasses are so cute. I'm definitely gonna go get more, but I put them right there and they're so pretty. And then I have my coffees that I have not drank that I have sitting in here. And then I just have like all my loose drinks, things that have been open. This is some more sparkling water. Can you tell I have a problem? Um, and then I have my coconut water right here. Just any of these kind of drinks that are open already and then on this side of the fridge I have all of my sauces and then like things that go in my food some like jalapenos garlic parmesan then I have all of my um, condiments so mayo mustard ketchup spaghetti sauce and then all my dipping sauces at the bottom and then I have extra eggs so I have this little container so I put it there now for this section I put all my LaCroix right here it looks so so good and then I have my other sparkling water with the minerals here then all my milks I only drink almond milk so I have that and then I put my butter here and my eggs just so they're easy to grab and then I'll always put like if I haven't used avocado or used onion I'll put those in the back of there now for my vegetable section I have some kale I have some broccoli, arugula, and more spinach in the back. Then I have my cut up celery, cut up carrots, and then my romaine lettuce and kale, and then my bell peppers in the back. Like, this is like a farmer's market, okay? You can come shop at my fridge. That's how beautiful it looks. And then I have my extra salad back there that you can't really see when you at, at an eye's glance when you open the fridge. I have my grapes and strawberries here all of my blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and then I had so much watermelon because me and my mom did, made a juice, so we had extras left over, so I just chopped that up. Made it easy for me to just come, pick a piece, and eat it as I go. Then I put all my unchopped fruit in here, like my apples, oranges, things like that, pears, whatever I have. Then I have my unchopped veggies in here, so my lemons, tomatoes, things like that in here. I didn't know where to put this stuff, so I definitely want to get more containers, maybe smaller ones to organize this better, but I didn't think about it. But I want to, uh, this is all the stuff I cook with my food, so all my flavored stuff like mint, ginger, cilantro, jalapeno, things like that will go in here. And then I don't have any right now, but my raw meats that is waiting to be cooked will go in there. And that is her. I love my fridge, you guys. If you guys have any better ideas of how I could organize this fridge, how I can make it more functional, let me know down in the comments because you guys know I'm all about it. I want to hear it. Um, I need help. I think it's cute. I think I did a really good job. So if your fridge was looking like a trash can like mine, that's okay. That is okay. You can always wake up tomorrow and start again. You don't have to go get a billion organizers like this, but you can clean it out and make it as organized with the things that you do have. And just make your fridge look cute. Make it easy for you to eat healthy. That's the idea of this fridge. It is so easy for me to come in here. I already have my pre-washed vegetables, my pre-washed chopped up fruit, and it's easy to eat healthy. That is the key. I'm telling you guys, that is the key. I'm so, so happy with how everything turned out and I love my kitchen. It's just becoming more and more of a space that I want it to be. It's just making me so excited to cook more. I cannot wait for my what I eat in a days now because you better watch out. Finally, finally feeling like a home. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment down below. If you guys like it or just say hi, I would love to say hi to you. If you're new here, let me know in the comments so I can introduce myself to you. I wanna know who you are and I wanna know your name. So, so that is the end of today's video. I love you guys. Make sure you don't forget to check out Ore. Such a beautiful, beautiful business and something I will continue to support. Go in my description, click the link and check out all of their beautiful pieces. And if you guys get any, make sure to let me know. I Want to see what you guys get i love my jewelry you guys will be seeing me wear it all the time but i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video this own apartment series is only going to get better and better and better and better <laughs> but i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye Thinking you were clever